<laughs> Do you want to know something crazy? The GPU crisis is about to get worse. DDR5 is outrageously expensive, but hey, at the very least you'll know the release date for Zen 3D. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You're going to have to kill me to stop me from giving you this news. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. Ridge Wallet is a sleek and stylish way to hold your money without all the bulk of traditional wallets. What I like about Ridge Wallet is that I can fit all my necessities no problem and not have a giant bulging mess sticking out of the side of my pants. With over 40,000 5 star reviews, the ability to hold up to 12 cards and a lifetime warranty, Ridge Wallet is an absolute no brainer. So if you want to cut down on wallet bulk, be sure to click the link in the description below and use code CHALLENGE to get an additional 10% off your order. That's right, the GPU crisis is getting even worse, but you might be asking the question, how is it even possible for it to get any worse? Well, I'm glad you asked, little Johnny, because two major things just happened. Now, the first thing that happened is that apparently Best Buy has formally increased the price of all their GPUs between $30 to $100, depending on which GPU it is that you're trying to actually buy. So yes, next time you go to try and buy a GPU when they have another drop, probably an online drop, up. Well, you might be faced with slightly higher prices. Now, is this actually going to affect cards like the Founders Edition cards? I don't think it will, but of course it is possible. It all comes down to whether or not Nvidia is going to allow that to actually happen. So, at the very least, I would expect all AIB cards to actually increase in price, but there is also a possibility that Founders Edition cards could increase in price as well. So, that's definitely not good. But if that wasn't bad enough, it looks like we have some more bad news when it comes to the whole GPU crisis that's going on. And this one comes from the Twitter account 3dcenter.org and apparently it looks like GPU prices have increased yet again this month. Now, if you don't know, 3dcenter.org has been tracking the prices, at least over in Germany, of the RTX 3080 and the alike cards, uh, and they put together a nice chart where they've been tracking it since the release of these GPUs, and so I'm going to be going ahead and showing you this, uh, but also here's what they had to say about it. A quote, availability got a little bit better, but prices did not respond. RDNA 2, 83% over MSRP, plus 9 percentage points versus September, and Peer, 72% over MSRP. MSRP plus two percentage points versus September. Looks like current price exaggerations are getting cemented. So yeah, definitely not good news when it comes to GPU pricing. Yes, of course, it's good that availability is increasing and it is likely going to continue to increase. So that's definitely good news. However, unfortunately, like I've been mentioning in previous videos, uh, the GPU pricing is actually going to likely get worse before it gets better because we do have to keep in mind that the holidays are coming up. We have a ton of shipping problems that are going on right now in the US. Mining is still very profitable profitable and over the holiday season typically demand is much much higher so your chances of seeing GPU prices reduce over the next one to two months at the very least is going to be very very small it's actually very likely that GPU prices are going to continue to increase slowly and in fact they may even spike up over like a one month period when holiday demand is at its very worst so do expect that over the holiday season if you're trying to get your hands on a GPU unfortunately it's just probably not going to be cheap you're going to have to decide whether or not you just want to continue continue waiting or just bite the bullet and buy it from someone for a very, very poor price. And so that's just going to have to be up to you guys. If you're wondering whether or not things are going to actually improve at some point, yes, they will improve. However, it is going to likely be 2022 before you see the market start to begin to correct itself. Now, at what point in 2022, I don't necessarily have a crystal ball, but I would expect that around the time maybe Intel releases their GPUs, there are a number of factors pointing towards at that point, it will begin to correct itself. But at what point you're actually going to be able to buy GPUs? use at their original MSRP. That's something that I don't necessarily have the answer to. However, I will be making a video on that as well. So make sure you're subscribed so you can go ahead and watch that content as well. And of course, make sure you hit that bell icon as well. But now let's go ahead and talk about the second topic of today's video, and that is DDR5 pricing. As I know, a lot of you are questioning, you know, just how expensive DDR5 is actually going to be. And it looks like at least according to video cards over on Twitter, they say, quote, Gel Polaris DDR5 memory now on sale at 350 US dollars. OCPC DDR5 memory listed as well. And it looks like I believe this $350 kit is going to be a 32 gigabyte kit running at just 4,800 megahertz, which of course 4,800 megahertz in DDR4 would be incredibly fast. But for DDR5, that's actually not that fast. So this is just absolutely outrageous when it comes to the price. And I am expecting that yes, other manufacturers are going to follow suit. And it is very likely that all these DDR5 kits that are coming out in the near future here, at least right away, are going to be very, very expensive. Now, as time goes on, yes, they are going to drop in price. And on top 
top of that also, they are going to get faster and they're going to have tighter timings as well. So if you're someone who's wondering, you know, should I jump on DDR5 right away or should I wait? Well, it's very likely it's probably going to be a good idea if you just sit back and wait at least until prices start to decrease. And on top of that, like I mentioned, you'll probably get better RAM as well. But now let's go ahead and talk about today's final topic, and that is AMD Zen 3D processors. As I know a lot of you guys are very excited for these upcoming processors, and I know also that a lot of you were hoping that it would be releasing near the end of the year. And so unfortunately, guys, it looks like that's not going to be the case because in a new video that AMD put out, they said that, yes, they are going to be releasing the Zen 3D processors processors early next year so early 2022 that is going to be the release date so hey at least we do finally have a release date for these processors yes they are actually coming out so that's very exciting stuff but unfortunately you are going to have to wait just a little bit longer so you're just going to have to ask yourself the question do i want to go with alder lake or do i want to wait for zen 3d or do i even want to wait for something like zen 4 as well as the 13th generation processors from intel and honestly guys that's going to be up to you guys once again but personally what i would recommend is that if your cpu is doing really well for you i would just continue to hang onto it until you feel like your CPU is a major bottleneck in your system and at that point I definitely would uh, go ahead and upgrade unless you're someone who just likes to upgrade all your parts every single year and in that case I guess you're just going to be upgrading either way. But hey that's just what I think. Do you think that GPU prices are going to continue to increase or do you think they'll actually get better over the holiday season? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.